As a 19-year-old kid in college, you think that, you know, you're invincible. And when cancer hits your family or yourself, it completely changes your, your point of view on life. First, they told me I had pneumonia. So after about a week, I went back for a checkup to make sure that I was all cleared to go back to school. And it turns out whatever they thought was pneumonia wasn't pneumonia. Um, I had a mass in my neck next to my thyroid, a mass in my chest, and I would find out that night in the emergency room that I had a mass in my stomach as well. A week later, we found out that it was not Hodgkin's lymphoma. My team of doctors and nurses were so wonderful and they provided me with such wonderful care. Dr. Perkins was my oncologist and he was absolutely fantastic. You know, as a 19 year old going through cancer, it's hard to understand some things. I don't get the science behind it. And he was so great at giving me analogies so that I can wrap my head around what my body was going through. From there on, we did those treatments until March, and it was a constant in and out of the hospital. And when I wasn't getting treatment, I was coming down with some sort of infection that I had to go back to the hospital for anyway. The nurses and I got really close. I mean, you see these women every single day. When I would come in in the morning, the nurses would come and see me, and they would immediately know if I was feeling good or if I was feeling bad, because if I was wearing heels, I was feeling good. And if I was wearing flats, I wasn't feeling good. In March, we did another scan, and we saw that the drugs were working, but they weren't working as quickly as we thought they would. So we decided from there on, we would do a bone marrow transplant. At Massey, they actually used my own stem cells in my bone marrow transplant, so I didn't need a donor. Before I went into the hospital to have my bone marrow transplant, my girlfriends and I went out to a karaoke bar, and that's where I met Joe. We began talking throughout the night, and you know, I, throughout the course of our conversation, she, she told me she had cancer. We went back to her apartment, and she she took her wig off. Um, you know, which she asked if she could. She took her wig off, and she came out, and she was sitting in a gray hoodie, um, and she, you know, she just she, she looked beautiful. And we talked all night, and on the way home, um, I remember turning to my friend. And I remember saying to him that, you know, if I could feel this way about a girl that, you know, has cancer, there's definitely something there. Even I talked on and off for a year, over a year. Uh, initially, I couldn't spend a lot of time with her because she had her bone marrow transplant and couldn't be around people. So as time progressed, you know, our relationship progressed. Uh, we got to know each other very well. Uh, we started dating. Then I proposed. You know, she said yes. I've been cancer free for nearly five years now, and it's a great feeling. It gave me a different perspective on life. People don't always think about how cancer can touch a family. Not only did it affect Eva's family, but uh, it affects my family as well. I'm very thankful for the people from Massey Cancer Center. Life would be a lot different um, if it wasn't for those people. Joe and I always wondered if we would be able to have children, and luckily, we did. They saved her life. It not only saved her life, but they gave us a life. Because without Eva, there would be no Luciana. It's a little miracle. <laughs>